I'm Thomas with Believe in the Run, and this is New Balance's RC1400V2 Racing Flat. There's a lot of things I like about this shoe. First off, it's extremely light. I mean, feather light. It weighs in at 6.3 ounces for the men's shoe, and like in the fives for the women's shoe. While it doesn't feel flexible in the hand, when you have these on, they feel light and flexible. And the Rev Light cushioning provides a nice amount of cushion and still feels responsive and firm enough for those speed workouts. The um, blown rubber on the outsole is great for traction. The 10 millimeter drop on the shoe is a little more than I'm used to running in, uh, but for some reason it, it wasn't as noticeable in this shoe as it has been for some other shoes. I run a midfoot strike and I didn't get that braking feel that I'll get with some other shoes when the, uh, the heel to toe drop starts to get higher. I like the styling of the shoe. Uh, I thought the fit and feel of the shoe is great. The way that this hugs, the collar hugs your ankle and locks in, just feels nice and natural and soft. Uh, you can practically see through the mesh. It's very breathable. Uh, this is definitely one of my favorite shoes of the year. One of the best shoes we've reviewed. The only drawback to the 1400, in my opinion, was that I would have liked to have run a marathon in these shoes. And when it came down to it, I just didn't trust it enough. Uh, I didn't feel like it had enough cushioning under my midfoot and my uh, front of my foot to really get me through the marathon the way that I strike. Um, I, th I think this would be a great shoe for a lot of runners for the marathon distance. For me, I, I think I would keep this down to the uh, half marathon you know, maybe even a 20K, but uh, I would trust another shoe for my marathons, personally. But that's about it. I mean, really, it's not even a complaint as much as a personal preference. So take that with a grain of salt. The uh, New Balance RC1400 V2. Check it out.